Good morning, YouTubers. Mike Martins here with the Mike Martins channel. Guys, this morning I was called a bigot. Someone told me I could speak about housing without being a bigot. Well, why was that said? Well, it was put on a post of that lady from somewhere in Northern Europe. That girl, that young girl, the climate protester lady girl that's going to make a vacation or coming to do a, a climate strike or, or a climate thing in Canada. Uh, whatever. You know I'm talking about that young girl. Greta or something? I don't even know her name. I don't even care to know her name. But anyways, so somebody somebody called me a bigot for, a pro, uh, for putting a picture of her that says, yo girl, you know, talking about how, you know, things aren't shouldn't be like it, things are so off the books or things are so uh, people are are, are are brainwashed into oblivion like it's so bad and then and then and then like don't get me wrong I, I was I, like I was bought into the whole you know remember the whole 2012 thing the mining calendar ends type of thing I was I bought into that there was a lot of things I bought into too and then we're not all pervious to being brainwashed with certain things right fair enough okay well my point is, this is the point I want to bring up, okay, which is kind of important. What if I brought up what's being brought up today, 25 years ago? What if that was the case? What if I brought up... <laughs> Anyways, what if I brought up to, uh, what 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 would we talk about today, 25, 30 years ago? I think I would probably be thrown in an institution. And the reason why I put that up, and I'm going to give you, and I'm going to defend myself why I did. Because everything is tied together nowadays. Absolutely everything. And I'm not talking about the World Wide Web. I'm talking about the economic ecosystem we're in right now. The, the, the conveyor belt of differences and the conveyor belt of underlying junk and underlying probability and underlying possibility. And for one to, to not be, you know, for one to not be able to criticize somebody or to criticize someone's thoughts and, and to come to a conclusion of, of if they're right or wrong or to come to a proper most of the most of the time somebody that's really on the ball could, could debunk or kind of see through a lot of stuff and a lot of those people are the ones that never have anything to say a lot of those people are the ones that never have anything to contribute but they know they keep their mouth shut and their eyes and ears open My concern is how everything is climate change connected to connected to the housing market? Well, you better believe it is, because we're paying different taxes to import different materials for housing. Uh, an example: Oh, then we got to get a special environmental permit, a this, a that. Oh, it's all connected, but it's connected to a way where it's not supporting or helping us. Is climate change? Um, Okay. So there's a guy crossing the street. He stopped first at the stop sign, though. But there's a guy crossing in front of him. But he blocks my car in front of me so I can't go straight. Until the guy walks through the intersection. That's that's nice. Anyways, so you guys, where I'm, where I, you guys know where I'm get, getting with this. It's very important that we understand all the li underlying measures and, and use them as kind of gauges or tools to see where things eventually die off in conversation, where things should not be continued into discussion, all right? There's so much stuff that should have been dead in discussion, dead in the water long time ago, but now it's being returned and brought back into law. Does climate change affect uh, housing? Uh, uh, yeah, because now we have to play a climate uh, carbon credits for something bogus that doesn't exist and that may hinder people to own 
a house or it may hinder people to buy or build a house or it may hinder uh, and create more red tape and bureaucracy when um, you know everything's connected okay and economically I'm looking at more of an economic connection ecosystem that we have and more and more and more of us are becoming more and more enslaved and not not enslaved to money but more enslaved to unnecessary rhetoric unnecessary uh, we should be debating going to Mars and what we're going to do in Mars. We should be debating how to uh, find a cure for cancer if we haven't already. We should be debating. There's a lot of things we should be talking about, but we're not talking about the right things. Like our political, our whole political um, arguments during our uh, political debates. The arguments, none of them held water. None, nothing was for anything for the people. And that's why I was very disappointed in that extremely disappointed let me know what you guys think comment below